Um, I definitely think that having some sort of operating experience before becoming VC is valuable. Um, I don't think it's necessary. Like, that's a common question for people wanting to get into VC. Like, oh, do I have to operate first or can I just do banking and then do it? it it's no, like, there's no rule book, right? Like, you can do it any, like, there's no got rule book to life. But being an entrepreneur, I think, is definitely one of the best and most helpful ones, um, particularly for seed stage investing, which is the stage of investing that I do, um, and running an accelerator program um, where I'm very hands on with founders. So, so a lot of my job, I say my job is about half investing, like half due diligence and sourcing and the traditional sort of venture capital activities. And then the other half is more like consulting, coaching, being very hands on with founders and working with them and helping them. Um, and particularly in that area of the business, I think my past entrepreneurship experience was very helpful. In terms of the view on startups, I mean, I think that having been a founder yourself, you get a lot more empathy um, and you, you know, you understand when you know times are rough and you understand that it's hard to be a founder and that the struggles a founder faces it, it just makes it easier to put yourself in their shoes instead of like being like why haven't you returned my capital you know um so i think in that sense also it's been really helpful we will invest in companies from all over the world so it's global um for the accelerator program though, um, we have two programs. We have one in New York and we have one in Singapore. Um, and all the companies that we invest in have to relocate to either New York or Singapore for the five month program that they do. We have a really tapped in network in food. Um, so we have, so our general partner was the managing director for FoodX for many years which is the leading accelerator in the food space. Um, we have experts and mentors from large corporations in food, like Ingredion, Nestle, um, Wakeford is in our office right now in a different room. So um, we have, you know, big food corporates um, as well as, you know, relationships with consultancies and, and experts and, and, you know, folks that are quite well known and plant based. Um, so we just have a really wide network, both in, you know, groups in the vegan community as well as the food more generally. Um, and I think it's, it's very community based. Um, so being able to tap into those communities that we're part of and, and um, having those key people on our team as well as part of our mentor network really helps us in sourcing. I think founders who are resilient um, is really, really important. Like, it is so important, in my opinion, to not be... You have to be able to problem solve. Like, if you're a startup founder, nothing is going to go right for you. Like, everything is going to go wrong for you. And this is the same, it's the same kind of trait that I feel like made me successful in a lot of ways. Like, building and launching accelerators too, because it's also a very scrappy job. And it's a job that's just built off of problem solving. Um, you know, there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into it. Um, it's not easy. It's long hours. It's, you know, you don't make money for a long time. Um, you're always going to need twice as, there's like a well-known quote where you're always going to need twice as much money and it's going to take twice as much time as you think. Um, so really um, just sort of that resilience is number one. Two things I'll say about this. The first is that VC is like a very broad sort of like umbrella industry that encompasses a lot of different things. So for me, if someone's walking around being like, I'm so passionate about VC, that to me is a little bit like, and like if they don't give any more details on that, I kind of feel like they actually don't really know that much about it. Two things I would say about this. The first is that VC is like a very broad sort of like umbrella industry that encompasses a lot of different so for me, if someone's walking around being like, I'm so passionate about VC, that to me is a little bit like, and like if they don't give any more details on that, I kind of feel like they actually don't really know that much about it. So my job at like a four person company that invests in like super, super early stage companies and also runs an accelerator could not be more different on the day to day than, you know, an associate at like NEA or something or like one of the big firms. So you, it's really very firm specific. So um, obviously you want to show 
an enthusiasm for tech overall and an enthusiasm for innovation overall and you should be well read on the space and up on news and up on you know interesting deals and things like that for sure the same way that you would be for any job um but i would really vc firms are really small teams they spend a lot of time together culture fit is really really important um and understanding what that firm is focused on and what that fund is focused on specifically and showing that you're passionate about that, in my opinion, is the most important thing. So if someone were to come and interview with me for a position at PIV, I would not say, why are you interested in the VC space? Because I don't really care. I don't care if you're interested in the VC space or not. I have a job that I need you to do and I want to hire someone for that job and I care about why you're interested in me and my fund and doing that job, right? It's all about like, it, 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 the interesting thing about jobs versus school that I think sometimes interns fail to understand, and I know I didn't understand when I was in school, is that school is like merit-based, right? Like, like you do like you do well on the test and you get an A and then you have the best GPA and you're the most successful, right? Like, it, it's about, you do the work, you put in the work, you're the best, and you, if you're the best, you win, right? And the workforce isn't like that. Like, the job market isn't like that. Like, getting a job is nothing at all like that. Like, the, it's not I mean, It's not like the best person wins. It's like the person that they decide to hire wins. Um, so getting a job is all about, like, if someone's hiring you for a job, that means they have a thing that they want someone to do and they're looking for someone to do that thing well, right? So when I was hiring for my team at BIB New York, I had two positions open and I needed people that I knew I could trust. Um, so I hired two people from my network that kind of came pre-vetted. Um, I hired, I needed people that I knew would be flexible and down to do anything. And I needed people that could start the next week. And those were the requirements. And if I had cast a wide net across like every single really top school and like gotten a million great applicants, and like done interview processes and like tests and modeling exercises and stuff wait like yes i would have gotten like better candidates from like a meritocratic perspective but as the person hiring i care about like my business needs and i just want the person that's going to be the best fit for that job and is going to be able to like fix my i just need someone that's going to fix my problem right like i'm not looking for the best person i'm not looking for like the person that's like most qualified for 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 what I'm, you know, I need a good person, but it's not about like being the best and winning and being successful. And like, it's just about like getting the job done and solving these problems of the person. So my advice for interviewing at VCs is you come in and you're not about like how you're the best candidate or how you know so much more, or how you're so much smarter, or you care so much more, or you're so much more passionate which is what would make you successful in school. Instead, it's more about, okay, what does this person, this partner, this UEC fund, or whoever's interviewing you, what does this person need, and how can you deliver that to them? And then they hire you. Um, it's not about like being the most qualified necessarily. Um, that's a little unfortunate. Like I actually think that the market would be like, I wish, kind of wish that wasn't the case. Like I think that's a huge reason for the enormous diversity problem that we're facing in BC, which is a big issue and that needs to be addressed. Um, and I wish that there was, you know, sort of better organized meritocratic processes in place. But the way it stands right now, VCs are a lot of, you know, professionals that are very spread, spread very thin, small teams. They're generally just looking to solve a problem and, you know, fix a business need. And you want to position yourself as the best person for that.